Okay, so this is the north antenna in my three element interferometer system. And I'm out in the middle of a field right now, about uh, approximately 200 meters away from the uh, computer where all the radio equipment is. And uh, you can see I have an inverted V uh, dipole antenna set up on the ground out in the grass. So some things I'd like to point out about this uh, antenna are that uh, if you, I'm going to go up closer to it, so you could take a look at the feed point and the elements. So the elements are kind of a spread out, have a spread out arrangement, so that the the it actually forms kind of a fan dipole, and this improves the bandwidth of the antenna, and that's important because the preamp that I'm using doesn't have the best noise figure, which I'm going to talk about next. So I have the feed point here has been sealed up with uh, silicon glue. But I have the uh, both leads fed into a coaxial ballon, which you can see here, which is uh, built using uh, RG6U coax cable. And this comes together, this ballon is a one-to-one -one ballon that uh, meets here at this splitter. And then the splitter runs from there into a mini circuits uh, 50 megahertz high pass filter. And this is important because a lot of HF uh, signals will get into the uh, antenna craft 10G212 uh, preamp. And even if you can't see the overloading from the HF signals creeping into this uh, preamp, it will definitely cause you a problem, especially if you want to do more high performance work, uh, such as searching for pulsars or transients. So this front end uh, amplifier, I mean this front end filter is essential to clean the signal up good enough so that it can uh, avoid saturating and, and interfering with the operation of this preamp. Then after that point, the, the signal is passed along a coax, which as you can see runs all the way out there to that green structure in the far distance. 